go out there and talk about my personal life. But I swear to God, I had a lifetime achievement award or something for dealing with the most idiotic, slow brain um, women. I have to. Somebody please award me for uh, the mo- dealing with the most slow brain, back talking. No, I can't even say back talking. Double talking. Slow brain. Slow witted females. I got I to gotta get that award. Because this makes no sense. Sorry about talking about my personal life. But this is why I love basketball more. Than women. That's why it pains me sometimes to see people not appreciate the sport. These NBA players. Like I do. <laughs> Basketball came. Was always there during some rough times. Especially with women. But rough, other rough times as well. But anyway, sorry for going on an existential uh, narrative right here. But I'm sitting here watching... The actually it was over already, but I was watching the uh, can you call it post game of the Dallas Mavericks and OKC, and I guess they had uh, whatever his name that holds the night show on Sports Center. But he was talking to Kendrick Perkins, Scott Van Pelt. He was talking to Kendrick Perkins, and he was talking about they asked him about how he felt about the whole Frank Vogel being fired, and uh, I think Kendrick Perkins is finally coming around. I I don't want to. Copy what uh, Ticket TV said, but he has to be listening to independent YouTubers or something. Is he saying the same thing we're saying? Last week, he called out LeBron James about uh, Darbraham being fired. He called LeBron James on about that. He said, at this point, LeBron James might as well be his own head coach. This boy don't want to listen to any other coach. Think he know more than a coach. And then he said it. Basically, he said it again. And he went in even more on KD. And some of these NBA players said these are the most soft belly players I've ever seen in my life. And I had to agree with Kendrick Perkins. It's about time I actually agree with Kendrick Perkins or something. It's about time. But anyways, he laid it out. Laid it in and laid it out. On Sports Center last night. Saying these dudes are soft, they don't want to listen. They think they know more than the coaches. And it's unfortunate and undeserving that Frank Vogel was fired after one year. And he's right. He's right. And I put all this blame on KD. No, I put not just on KD. He shares the blame with Bradley Bill and Devin Booker. All three of these dudes don't play no damn defense. They play Way too much ice ball, especially Devin Booker played way too much ice ball. Then he freaking the next coming of Kobe Bryant, which he is not. There was only going to be one, and there was only one. And Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, these dudes are not. Uh, Bradley Bill, like I said earlier, like yesterday in the video, he was hurt. He can't keep himself healthy. He ain't playing no damn defense. He don't show no damn respect to Frank Vogel. And we already know about KD. We already know how that goes right there. And yes, I will say that once again. Motherfucker need to go freaking sit down somewhere. We don't want to hear you no more. We don't want to see you no more on the court. I'm done with these guys. I know some people in my last video said, oh, these guys need to retire. Well, they do because they're polluting the league. I swear to God, some of you might have heard this on my last video. I was complaining about my neighbors playing loud music. Here they go again. All right, they turned it down. Sorry. Like I said, people just have no respect. But anyways, going back to the Phoenix Suns. You can't blame Frank Vogel for the right personnel now not being out there or what this team needs. This team needed a point guard, but no, they traded him for uh, Bradley Bill. I guess Chris Paul was, <laughs> he old, but he's probably been the best point guard to play for the Suns since uh, Steve Nash. Yes, yeah, since Steve Nash. 
That's what this team needed. They don't have it because none of these three dudes can play point guard. Eric Gordon can't play no point guard. Um, Grayson Allen can't play point guard. No, they got no point guard on this team. None whatsoever. Like I said, there ain't no defense. These dudes don't pride themselves on playing defense and effort. So, and that's maybe maybe the GM. I don't know who the GM is. Is it uh still um what's his face that was played in Cleveland? LeBron. I think his name is James. Is it James Jones? Is he still is he still the GM or they let him go? Somebody else is still the GM. Just like damn. Now they looking out. Budenhoser, which was actually the next point that Scott Van Pelt actually put out there to talk about uh, with Kendrick Perkins. And Kendrick Perkins said the same, uh, pretty much was what I was thinking. What's the point of hiring Budenhoser when it's going to be the same outcome? You don't <laughs> decide to build a roster to the way it's capable of putting a winning product out there. You're just wasting your time hiring Budenhoser. And Budenhoser, I'm not the biggest fan of him. Some of you guys are. I'm not because I saw things that Budenholzer did when he was coaching the Bucks. That I didn't like. Budenholzer, not to go off on a tangent about Budenholzer, Budenholzer, during the 2022 Eastern Conference semifinals, he never uh, thought to, you know what, maybe we should uh, cut off a three-point. From the Boston Celtics and make them drive to the basket. Nope, that never happened. Oh, even when they won the finals, he never thought to take Brooke, uh, Brooke Lopez out of the pick and roll against the Suns. He let Brooke Lopez get destroyed in the first two games before he decided to change it up. And some people don't uh, know that uh, Budenholzer was threatened to be fired during the conference semifinals in 2021. But they didn't tell you that. But anyways... It's going to be the same thing if they hire Budenholz or any other coach. KD is uncoachable. He ain't that. Devin Booker, sorry to say, he uncoachable. Got rid of Monty Williams. For what? For what? For what? It's ridiculous. And I'm seeing the Charlotte got a new coach. I think they got a Boston's old assistant coach. Actually, he was the old assistant coach for uh, Milwaukee during Budenholzer. I think his name is Charles Lee. Because I know people are shouting out his name. I mean, Budenholzer was let go. Uh, I, got, I guess he got a gig now. But I'm trying to think of all the candidates and go down there other than Budenholzer. But it don't matter. Unless they don't need three superstars. Sons, most teams don't need three superstars. The playoffs right now is telling you that. Right now, that you don't need a whole bunch of superstars to win. But I'm glad Kendrick Perkins came out there and said that these dudes are soft and don't want to listen to the coaches. And I also put a video out talking about, um, it was Tony Two Coach talking about the difference between how coaches are treated in Europe and the European leagues, how they treat it in the NBA. They treat it in the Euro leagues, European leagues, with much more respect, and they basically run the team and don't let the players run the team unlike here but i bet you nobody watched that video i'm glad somebody commented on that video but nobody watched that video because out here they think it's oh it's the player's fault and people continue to keep going on with that stupid ass narrative when we see these players fail to fail to fail on each team we've seen kevin Durant fail on the nets now fail on the suns for two seasons apiece now when is it going to be finally kevin Durant's fault and not a coach's fault Oh, I don't think Coach Frank Vogel was a good coach. Well, he coached fucking LeBum to a bubble championship. He almost got the Indiana Pacers to the finals 10 years ago. They probably would have made it to the finals. They didn't run into a super team in the Miami Heat. So what are we talking about? I want to know what's your guy's definition of a bad coach. No, matter of fact, I want to see some of y'all go out here and coach an NBA team. And coach a middle school team. Every coach and get fired is a bad coach. No, you just got bad players who don't want to listen. That is the point I'm trying to make. You got a whole bunch of freaking diva superstars that don't listen. 
that march to the beat of their own drum. Don't listen to nobody because they make millions. They don't feel they have to listen. That is the issue in the NBA right now. And the influence, well, LeBron influenced Kevin Durant. And he slowly influenced other superstars like a Giannis right now with this stupid ass crap. But anyways, y'all ain't going to listen. Some of y'all won't listen. But I'm glad Kendrick Perkins came out there and said what he needed to say on SportsCenter in prime time after this Dallas and Thunder game, calling KD basically soft and the rest of these players soft. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.